What's going on everyone? Today, I'm going to the Yokohama DNA Bay Stars game against the Nagoya Chunichi Dragons. It's gonna be my first time ever going to see a game in Yokohama. And guess who's pitching? Trevor Bauer. So that's what's going on today. That's what you're gonna see today. I heard the atmosphere is really loud at Yokohama Stadium. So I don't know if you'll really be able to hear me talk as I'm vlogging, but I'll try to give you the best firsthand experience I can possibly give you of Yokohama Stadium. I'm running a little late now, but I just want to show like the exterior of the stadium. Yeah, we're about to head inside real soon. It's pretty cool that they have a water fountain there, right? Here he is, Trevor Bauer on the mound. Okay, that's a strike. There's a 1-1 one -one count. And it's one two after a foul ball. Although here they actually don't have a pitch clock, unlike in Major League Baseball now. Oh, strike three! But I also want to show the visiting team's fan section, which is way out there. See where I'm pointing? They're way out there. But yeah, show Trevor Bauer as he's on the mound again. And okay, that's that's strike three. That's strike three. Yep. So I think going into this game, he had a 2.95 ERA. He got off to a rough start, but he's been really good as of late. Sorry, my camera's a little off, but. I was looking at the scoreboard, trying to focus this on where the camera's facing. Ball one. Oh yeah, there's the beer vendor again. The beer vendor carrying the keg on her back. Yes, that's a keg. It's a 2 0 count right now. The strike one. What do you think of Japan's cheering style, though? Interesting, right? Okay. But that's a 2 2 count now off that foul ball. Pretty interesting to be seeing Trevor Bauer pitch live in Japan, isn't it? And still alive. Fouled that one off. Another foul ball. And that's another foul ball. Fouled off three now. And that one is probably gonna go foul again. Yep. He's really battling right now. Bats lasted over three minutes now. Here's 
was a 2-2 and he struck him out. This is on first and second with two outs. Let's see if he can come through right here. Hey Yankees, take notes. Not everything needs to be a home run. A bloop single always works too. Okay, so you guys can hear me because it's really loud in there. I want to know, are openers a thing in Japanese baseball? Because to be honest, I don't really follow Japanese baseball like that, but the pitcher for the opposing team, the Nagoya Chunichi Dragons, he got pulled during the third inning and he wasn't great, but it wasn't like he was getting absolutely shelled. So, felt like it was a little early to pull him, but at the same time, I mean, if it was an opener though, then like, okay, I get it. But if anyone who's watching this really follows Japanese baseball like that, then yeah, definitely let me know in the comments. Long time subscriber, Gina, thank you for your support, by the way. Suggested that for my future vlogs, I talk about the food at the stadiums. So I kept that in mind, and here's a freshness burger right here. And the headquarters are in Kanagawa, which is where Yokohama is. So yeah, that's one thing that they have here. And I think there, yeah, there's also gyoza. Love gyoza. I'm not sure what I want to eat yet, but just want to show you a little bit about the food that sold at the stadium since that was suggested to me when I made my vlog last year. But here they also have chicken wings and fries, so and also hot dogs here. So I think I might want to get some chicken wings. Just to show you a little bit more about what's being sold at the stadium. Yeah, it's a long line here, but whatever. I'm kind of hungry right now, so I may as well go for it. Here, the, here we are, runners in the corner. Let's see what he does here with the runners in the corner. No out. with no out and he beats it to left field one run scored in and he runs on first and second and the base stars take a three nothing lead runners on second and third with one out Sack fun to get the runners on second and third, so let's see if they can drive in a run or two. Maybe three if it's a home run. Let's see what he can do. I love these fans here. These fans are loud and passionate. And there's a base hit! One run scored! Here comes another run! There's a throw! Two runs scored! Base guard lead! Five nothing! Great situational hitting. They don't rely on home runs. They're able to find gaps. That's how you hit in big situations like that. That's situational hitting. Something, unfortunately, my team, the New York Yankees, know nothing about. I wasn't filming while this happened, but yeah. The base guard scored again. It's 6-0 now. They're absolutely killing the Dragons. Not me 
was babe. I'm not actually a Bay Star fan, but man, these fans are so passionate. It's kind of getting me into this thing a little bit. Except, I'm definitely way more unhinged than they are. I'll, I'll tell you that, but they're loud and passionate, and I love it. I showed this in my vlog last year at the Tokyo Yomiuri Giants game. So, now we're seeing them in Yokohama. Oh, okay, wow. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty interesting. So, the point I want to make was, hey! When I actually oh, watch yeah. the show with the cheerleaders, oh, yeah. Major League Baseball doesn't have that, but Major League Baseball does. Two, two, two outs. What do you have on with that? Even during the game, this is the line to get into the team store. Yeah, I'm not going inside, I'm not waiting this line, but wow, this is the line for the team store. And the game is still on right now. Crazy, right? We got souvenirs here too, and look what is a souvenir right here. He did actually do the celebration, but unfortunately, I didn't get to film it. But yep, they got the Trevor Bauer sword right there. They sell karage here, fried chicken, bay karage. So this is the only part of the stadium that I've found so far where it's not a crazy line. Because everywhere else, even while the game's going on, not in between the innings, the line is absolutely crazy, but not here. Well, the last one just got sold though, but yeah. I wanted to show that as well. Right here is commemorating the Bay Stars 1998 championship with Kazuhiro Sasaki. The closer for the Mariners during Ichiro's early days with the team was part of that team. So yeah, I just wanted to show this as well. So now it's an eight nothing game. Yeah, the fans are still loud. Kind of out of reach right now. Of course, you can't predict baseball, anything can happen, but and the fact that the fans are still this loud in an 8 nothing game, instead of thinking, yeah, we got this, hey, nice. We're in the eighth inning now, so Trevor Bauer is not in the game anymore, but he got a nice hand from the crowd, pitching seven shutout innings, but now on to the next pitcher, Tatsuya Ishikashi. Okay. The Tatsuya Ishikawa. Wow. So that's how the guys come out of the bullpen? That's very interesting. That's the visiting team's crowd out there, and it, they're down 8-1 in the ninth inning, and yet here they are still being loud. Let's be real. In America, those fans would already be heading home, but here, no, they're still, still being loud and proud. Pretty amazing, right? Two outs, the Dragons scored two runs in this inning. Here's a pitch. Let's see if they can turn two. There's one. Ah, oh, not in time. So it's two outs now. The Dragons scored two runs in this inning, so the Bay Stars had to bring in their setup man, Escobar. So now it's two outs in the ninth inning. 0-2, two, two outs. It's raining now, so Hopefully we can get this third out right here because I don't want to sit here in the rain forever. It's been a good time though. So, all right, let's see if they can get this th third out right here. Let's see if they can strike him out right here. Or that'll be a out. Game over, Base Stars win. So now it's absolutely pouring outside and I didn't bring an umbrella and yeah, I have to be miserable right now. But you know what though? Even though I'm not 
actually a Bay Stars fan, but they won 8-2. Trevor Bauer went seven strong. The fifth inning was an absolute hit parade for the Bay Stars. And they had to change pitchers in the ninth inning, even though they went into the ninth inning with an 8-0 lead. And then they gave up two runs. But Escobar, who's usually the setup man, was able to finish it off. So it's going to wrap it up. So don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you next time.